All right, so I'm super tired and I'm still super sick, but I, I've noticed something on the Twitters and <clears throat> like it's one of these things that you got to realize that I don't I don't understand how it works. There are people out there who have uh, seen what happened on the border with the uh, the migrant caravan thing. Now, don't get me wrong. I, I like the idea of um, people being treated humanely. What I don't like the idea of is, is people attacking the concept of border control agents. Like, they're, they, they're there for a reason. Don't get me wrong. The, the the concept of firing tear gas at any any grouping of women and children is a bad idea. You're you're gonna hurt a child, and that's that's not that's not cool. And I know there's a lot of people with varying opinions on this topic, but like I said, when it comes down to it, you you can't really justify gas in a bunch of kids. I I don't care what your reason is. You don't you don't have to let them into your country, but you can't you can't just sit there and be like, uh, let's fire tear gas at them. If you got a reason, I, I I don't know what it would be. Maybe the kid's got a shotgun pointed at you, and he's he's gonna blow your fucking legs off. That might be an excuse. But in this situation, what I'm seeing is they were attacking a fence. I don't, I, I don't know if there was an alternative means to repel these people, but I do know that um, it's very tragic what's happening, and I, I can't approve of. I mean, I mean, a kid getting shot with tear gas. That's that's not cool, but there's also been some claims as to the legitimacy of the uh, the pictures that the press have been putting out. And it, it sounds like shit. And I, I don't want to be that guy who says, you know, fuck, fuck the establishment because the establishment's doing this or doing that. Don't, don't get me, I, I keep saying don't get me wrong. Again, I'm sick, my brain's not functioning correctly, but I'm trying here. The idea that, um, borders have to be enforced. Look Look at how well it's not worked in Germany and the EU to have open borders. It, it, fucking phone. Hang on. Let me, let me just throw my phone across the room because fuck this piece of shit. The thing of it is, is if, if you have uncontrolled borders, you never know who's coming in. If you have two heavily, bo uh, heavily guarded borders, you're gonna know who everybody's coming in, but you're also gonna know their dick size and their bra size. And there's there's no way to to approve of that. There's no way to not be a dick and do that. I'm all for the ethical treatment of people. And I'm all for the concept of everybody getting along. But it seems to me like the right and the left are so far opposing each other that they're starting to intersect at the other side. There's a problem here, and it's it's fundamental in the U.S. It's not as bad as the U.K. with the concepts of Articles 11 and 13. Getting ready to pass here in January, I, I may lose quite a few YouTuber friends that I, I've learned to care about. Be, because they just, they can't, they can't even put their own avatars up without risking copyright infringement because of two or three lines. You have to own 100% of the copyright, which means even if your avatar uses, like, line art, or you use your camera and there's a Coke bottle in your background, you might end up without an account anymore because you get flagged for copyright. We're going down a lot of dark roads. And the only way to protect your freedom is to, I guess, kind of go against the grain. So do your goddamn best, people. Do your absolute best to... To not just listen and believe. It's not going to do you any good, and it's not going to work. 
you got to do more than listen and believe. You actually have to look it up. You have to look through the information and you have to act. Now, I'm not saying pull what they did to Tucker Carlson, show up to the dude's house and start screaming, we know where you live because fuck you for doing that. <coughs> There's no reason to use shit like violence on people. So seriously, before you decide that that's your best bet, Look inside yourselves and see if there's no other solution. My name's Ichabod. I've got raccoon shit to do. <coughs> see you guys next time.